Hi everyone, in today's video you are going to learn about how you can ship your products to customers in India. So basically to clear things out straight from the beginning, I'll be talking about how you can send your products to customers within India. So let's get started. First of all, let us start by assuming that you are already running a business or maybe planning to launch a business and you are not sure about how to send your products to your customers. So as a beginner, what I'll suggest you to do is approach your nearest post office and start sending your initial orders through India Post. India Post can be a little bit overpriced when it comes to sending your orders to some states, but even then it is affordable. As a true beginner, you will be unaware of how many orders you will be actually receiving in a particular month. So you can start shipping your orders with India Post at first and then later onwards when you are confident enough to say that you will be getting these many orders or maybe at least you are able to say I expect a minimum of this number of orders a month, you can contact a private courier service in your area. And while you are approaching them, you need to make sure that your doubts are cleared in advance. Let them know what is the content of your package, that is what are your products, what will be the packaged weight and ask them to offer you a good price for shipping your orders to other states in India. Similarly, you can collect quotations from various courier services in your area. And before you finalize with any of these courier services, also make sure to ask if they have uh, particular services like COD options or door-to-door uh, -door delivery etc. Personally, for running my business, I use DTDC. I use DTDC because of two reasons. Uh, it is actually nearer to me and also they provide better prices for us. But the major limitation is that they don't provide door-to-door -door services in most of the areas. And as you can imagine, this won't work with all of our customers because some of them will be disappointed for the reason that they need to get out of their home and reach out to the courier service in their area to get their products. So each and every courier service has its own benefits and disadvantages. You need to try them out and figure out what works best for you. So to start sending your products to customers, all you have to do is collect contact details of various courier services in your area from Google and clarify your doubts in advance on what will be their shipping charges, how many days will it take to reach various states in India, what will be their COD charges, Will they be able to deliver the products to customers home directly or not? And all these things has to be clarified in advance. One other thing that I would want to mention in this video is that let your customers know in advance which courier service you will be using to deliver their products. In this manner, you will be able to reduce the complaints from your customer's part when it comes to delivery. So that was all for today's video. I hope you really understood how to deliver your products to customers. If yes, please do give a thumbs up and share this video in your circle. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.